Hi, let's walk through a quick Hello World example in OpenShift.io so you can see just how quickly you can get an application running in the public cloud. First thing you need to do is create a space. I'm going to go ahead into my new account and click Create a Space. Now you don't really need to know what a space is. For now, just think of it as a new project you're working on. I'll call it Hello OpenShift.io and choose a template. It doesn't matter which template you choose for this example. I'll choose scenario different planning and click create space. You'll now see a wizard. It gives you some options. Go ahead and click on create a new quick start project. And that brings you to the forge wizard. It takes a moment to start up. And then in here, I'm going to choose on this first page of the dialog um, what kind of quick start I want to use. And I'll just take this first choice, the basic vertex application. And simply click finish. You don't need to step through the, uh, all the pages of the dialog. The wizard um, is choosing really good defaults for you. Give it a moment. And it has now created our quick start. So a number of things that have happened. So let's go over to the create tab. And over here, our first thing I'll notice is that a, uh, a code base has been set up for me and that code has been put into a Git repo. So here's the source code of the quick start in my own Git repository. And I could also go over to pipelines and I can see that a build has started. So not only has OpenShift.io created the quick start for me, giving me the code that I need to build upon that quick start, it's also doing a deployment of it for me now out to the public cloud. So let's just give this a moment to run. The stages are now running. It's doing the build of the application. This will take just a few seconds. Now a bunch of stages have completed and you can see my application has been rolled out to stage. And if I click this link, I can now see my application running in the public cloud. And there it is, running in the public cloud. Now, it's quite possible that when you run through this exercise, you may in fact instead see application is not available. And you may think you've done something wrong. You actually haven't. You were just simply a little too fast. Because not only does your application need to be deployed out to OpenShift Online, but it needs to start running. And it takes a few seconds for it to start running. Now one way you can see the current status of your application is to go to the application screen. And here you will see that for my hello openshift.io application that I made, um, it is currently deployed to stage version 1.0.1 of my application, the one that is deployed, and it has this green tick mark. That's how I know that it's out there and it's actually currently running. What you may find is that there'll be a spinning circle here indicating that it is being deployed and is starting up, but it's not fully running yet. So if you ever see application is not available, don't fret, just come here to the application screen and wait for it to start running. If I go back to my pipeline view, uh, so I can look at the application. Uh, I can see it running in the public cloud. Everything looks good. I can invoke this service. It returns back some JSON. This is, like I said, a hello world application. Everything looks fine. So let me go back to OpenShift.io and let me go ahead and promote that out to my run environment. Let me go ahead and click promote. If I go over to the application screen, I can see that it's now deploying out to run. And this is that situation whereby if I go and try to hit the application right now in my run environment, it says application is not available. And that's because it is still starting up. Give it a couple more seconds to finish starting up. It says that it's ready. Let's go and check that out. And sure enough, I now have version 1.0.1 of my application running in both a stage environment and a run environment. Let's now return to the code bases screen so we can make some changes to the application. I need a workspace in which to work. And these are, of course, powered by the amazing Eclipse J. So I simply cr click Create Workspace. Now Eclipse J is starting for me. If you got a warning about a blocked pop-up on the code bases screen when you tried to create the workspace, please disable pop-up blocking for OpenShift.io, refresh the code bases page, 
and it should you should be able to create a workspace and get into Eclipse J right after that. Great, now Eclipse J is running. My workspace is loaded. I can come in and I can go ahead and make changes to the source code. So let's simply change the greeting from hello to welcome. Let me go ahead and commit my code change. So git commit page files, um, new welcome message will be my comment. And I will now push that change up to my repository. And this, of course, kicks off a continuous integration process whereby a new build will start for my application. And I can see that that has indeed started. Once again, let's give this a moment to run. Now all the stages have completed. Let's go over to the application tab. And here I can see that version 1.0.2 is starting up in stage. It's not yet running yet. So let's give it a moment to start. And it is now running. So I have version 1.0.2 running in stage and version 1.0.1 .1 running in the run environment. I can simply click here to go over to see it running in stage. Let's invoke the API and it says, welcome world as opposed to hello world. I go back and click on the version 1.0.1 that's in the run environment. It says hello world. So I can see that I've got both versions running and if I'm happy with that change I can come back to my pipelines, go to this approval step where input is required. Once again I've got easy access to again verify that application on stage from here if I want. Let's go ahead and do it one last time. Yep still saying welcome world and I will do promote. Go back to my applications tab. On the application screen I can see yes in fact it is now rolling version 1.0.2 out to the run environment. We'll give that one moment. It is now running. Let's go ahead and click this. And here I am in the run environment. We invoke it and now welcome world is running there as well. As you can see, OpenShift.io made it extremely fast and easy for me to deploy out a new Hello World application to the public cloud powered by OpenShift Online. I then also was able to make a quick and easy change to the application using the amazing Eclipse Che. Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Thanks so much for watching and happy coding.